top 10, bro. My boy Bronny James is projected to be a top 10 projected pick in the 2024 NBA draft. Guys, what in the who is going on guys you guys know how we do it on this channel we keep it real we keep it a buck we keep the same energy towards every single player we do not care who their dad is we don't care who their mom is we don't care what their last name is i don't know if they're judging this from a talent perspective because that's what it sounds like or if they're judging this and projecting him to be a top 10 pick because he's lebron james's son guys i ain't gonna lie i know this was a short intro but we got to dive deep into this video because I ain't gonna lie, I really do not think nobody in their mama saw this coming. So guys, boom, the official way, 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 way too early 2024 NBA mock draft recently just dropped and it's definitely led to a ton of conversations regarding some of the placements of certain players from a top 10 perspective and just looking at a few of the notable slots for certain players on the screen here are the top 10 and at that specific number one spot you'll see mr mattis buzelis hopefully i'm saying his name right now he's currently ranked as the ninth ranked player in the 2023 high school class and i will say for those who don't know who this man mattis buzelis is he can definitely ball he does possess a lot of nba quality qualities that I know NBA teams are going to like. He's a 6'10 small forward that can essentially play both sides of the ball and I believe that's what separates him from everybody in that 23 class. I know it may not look like it, trust me, but he's just as athletic as a lot of the other players in his class and his ability to just play make and make reads that most people at his specific size and stature can't typically do. You can honestly see why they do have him rated as the number one projected pick in that draft. Trust me, I know he's for sure a player that I know a lot of people are going to be confused about, but just give it some time. And I believe that he's definitely going to definitely stay somewhere within that top five when it is all said and done. Also, very briefly, Cody Williams at number two. He's another guy that we do have to talk about really quickly. Most people don't realize this is a guy that was not even ranked a year and a half ago in his own class. And if you've noticed in the NBA, teams are starting to prefer players that are around that 6'8 to 6'10 stature that can also put the ball on the floor and Cody Williams over the past few years he's definitely turned into that type of player and I believe over the past two years with the development that he's shown on and off the court I'm personally not surprised to see him at number two I'm also not surprised to see my boy DJ Wagner and Justin Edwards at number four and seven I mean speaking quickly on DJ Wagner I know his high school season did finish early because of some altercations that did occur in his final game but but I do believe throughout his four years of high school basketball, he was one player that I feel like we can all agree on that he was for sure consistent every single year and he showed up typically whenever it did matter most. And I do feel like he has grown overall as an overall athlete and also as an overall scorer. I've always regarded DJ Wagner as a scoring first type of guard and I do believe whenever he does attack downhill, he is pretty hard to stop and that's something that has been consistent over these past few years. Guys, I feel like we've definitely seen his shooting ability develop over these past few years as well. I mean, guys, he's a career 20 plus point per game scorer throughout his time at Camden, even playing some pretty tough opponents. And people don't even realize whenever he was at Camden, he only lost five games in the entirety. And I believe that's a testament of just how DJ Wagner just prize in winning, prize in playing hard, especially on both sides. And I do believe that DJ Wagner being projected as a top 10 player in the 24 draft is definitely deserving. Now guys, let's take a step back. <laughs> let's take a step back and talk about the elephant in the room and talk about Mr. Top 10, the man, the myth, the legend, my boy, Bronny James. Now you watching this video, I don't know about you, but on my personal socials, Instagram, Twitter, all that, I've seen so many, 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 many people saying that there's absolutely no way that Bronny James is a top 10 projected player. Guys, that's the thing. What exactly are we judging? What did I ask you watching this video at the beginning of the video? Are they projecting Bronny as the player himself and just what he is? Or are they projecting Bronny James as LeBron James's son? I don't know. Me personally, I feel like those are just two completely different players. As an overall player, I've said it time and time over again. Bronny is a phenomenal player and he has shown a tremendous amount of development over these years and he's definitely taken a huge leap 
in his senior year. Now, prior to his senior year, I feel like he was always a player that just took the back seat and just let the game come to him versus attacking and going full throttle from start to finish. He's always been a guy that just pushed the team first and he doesn't care if he finishes with three points or 20 points. If Sierra Canyon or whatever team he's on wins, that's all that Bronny James cares about. And he's a guy that just wants to make the right play for the team versus making that highlighted play. I'm telling you, a lot of people at his specific age and just in high school, they're really not like that. And I do believe those certain qualities really makes Bronny James the player that a lot of these NBA teams do like. And like I said, since he did take a huge leap and had the keys for this Sierra Canyon team, I personally can only imagine with college coaching, playing with better teammates, playing with better coaches, bulking up and just upping his IQ. I can only imagine the type of player that Bronny James is going to be at the start of the 2024 season. Guys, trust me, I know it does sound crazy, but you have to understand that this is not a if the draft were to take place today type of mock draft you have to look at the word projected and really understand what exactly that means because in retrospect yes of course it's way too even early to even have this type of conversation who knows what's even gonna happen in a year from now guys we don't even know what college this man Bronny James is even going to like I said I really do think these mock drafts are definitely for conversations and they know exactly what they're doing by putting Bronny James as a top 10 player but like I said, me personally, if you were to ask me if I think he should be a top 10 player, I don't know if I would put him in the top 10. I'm going to just be honest. I don't think he's ready as an overall player just yet. I know I did mention that he has taken that leap, but I still need to see more persistence on the scoring end and if he can become a knockdown shooter. For Bronny James, everything is consistency. I've been preaching this since day one. That's his biggest problem. One day he will score 15 points the next game, he will drop four. And that's exactly why I do get it from some people's perspectives. Whenever they do say, how in the who is he projected to be a top 10 player? when he can't even score 20 points consistently on the high school level. Trust me, I get it, it does sound crazy, but that's another video for another day. But what's even crazier to me is the fact that no matter what team this man Bronny James does end up on, LeBron James is going to sign with that team. At least that's according to what he said. Now there is a rumor and also a report that LeBron James said that he would never play for Orlando if he was traded to that team. But I don't know, it is kind of crazy that it is a coincidence that at the 10th spot, Bronny James is projected to go to the Orlando Magic. I know, I'm pretty sure the Orlando Magic won't have that 10th spot, which is picking up Pelo Benchero this past season and just getting better, I'm pretty sure, in these next few seasons. But regardless, whatever team that Bronny James does end up on, I'm going to be super excited to see. I know you're going to be super excited to see it. And it's going to be fun to see LeBron James suit up for a random team that we just never even imagined. Imagine LeBron James playing for the Hornets or the Pacers or the Hawks. Man, I'm going to be ready. Now, Robert Dillingham is projected to go first round at number 30. You watching this video, I want to know how you guys personally feel about that. Just like Bronny James, he's another guy that I do believe has to prove the doubters wrong. I know there are a lot of doubt about if Robert Dillingham can lead a team from a point guard perspective and just how well he can score the ball in an efficient manner. Although Robert Dillingham is elite, but when it does come to scoring the ball, people do say that Robert does need a ton of dribbles just to put the ball in the hole. Trust me, I do believe that if he can showcase at Kentucky that he can be a dynamic guard that can definitely play both ways and be efficient as it gets on the scoring perspective and also on a playmaking perspective, I do think he can become an NBA lottery pick in this up and coming draft. But what do you guys personally think? Mikey Williams, he's another guy that is projected to go 39th overall to the San Antonio Spurs. I really do think that he's in the same category with a guy like a Robert Dillingham. People just focus more on what he can't do versus what he can do. Mikey Williams, we know he can score the ball. He can shoot the ball. And that's what he does. But his point guard skills, to me, that's what's really developed over these past few years. And I promise you, that's not by accident. At Memphis, if he can continue to just be efficient as it gets from a scoring perspective and really, 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 really hone in on the defensive end, since that's the stigma that he is lazy on that end and he just does not play defense and that's not his main focus, I'm telling you, I do think he can definitely up his 
chances of being a first rounded player but right now i'm not gonna say that mikey williams is a top 30 guy at least in this specific moment in time but like i said only time will tell but i do believe if he can develop really honing in those certain areas he can end up as a top 30 player guys it's still the year of 2023 it's still way 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 too early to even have this type of conversation but y'all know it is something to talk about to me it's just very interesting to see that they did have ronnie james as a top 10 player i'm just excited to just sit back and enjoy the ride according to a lot of rumors and a lot of reports brian james is projected to go to either ohio state usc or oregon you guys know once he makes that decision whatever i'm gonna make a video about it so make sure you guys subscribe to this channel smash that like button do all that fun stuff join the juice man family guys let me know other video ideas that you guys do have down below yeah with all that being said guys thank you for watching it's been an episode of juice mate tv peace